education. Um, after spending eight years in secondary, I came to be inspired and encouraged and learn best practices that other university professors um, are doing to be able to prepare the next group of educators so that students can be engaged and excited about learning. I'm Phil Kepgal and I love to come to NCTE Convention because I get really excited about books and connecting my students with the right book and I learn exactly what that is and I can show students that authors are real people and that they should love their books as much as I do. I think that kids learn better by doing rather than being told. It's true. I learn better by doing rather than being told. Last two years we had a reading specialist that was also a literacy coach at our school and she was phenomenal. Unfortunately because of budgeting she was cut and so this fall I enrolled in a reading specialist program because of the great things that she did in my class and I'm hoping that through my graduate studies and through experiences like this at the conference I'll be able to keep my kids motivated and keep them keep their confidence up. Kids are readers. So many people say kids these days don't read, but if you look around, this conference is full of, of teachers buying books and getting books for their students because those students want to read and want to become known as readers. When students and their families are in need, teachers rally together. Teacher voice is not something that can be bought or co-opted and all the rank and file voice matters. Listen to your teacher. Kids are people, they're human. I don't teach products, I don't make an end product. I teach people. Teachers are people, I teach people. There's such a disconnect between the wonderful work going on in classrooms, innovative, creative uh, work going on in classrooms, and the policy level. And a lot of policy decisions seem to be uh, being made without any knowledge of, without any understanding, understanding. of the, the things going on at the classroom level. so then I can be an ever great teacher for my students. I'm so glad to be here. The sun will always come out, or as Annie would say, something about your bottom dollar will be tomorrow. There'll be sun. Sorry, I just messed that up. <laughs> we all have a bright side, so let's look at the bright side in a time of, well, a lot of pressure. We are not alone. I'm not alone in my questions, in my passion, in my love for teaching and learning and reading and writing. We are not alone. We come to conference to come back to center. It's not a conference. It's truly a center to come back to and feel like this is where we belong. This is where we do what we do. These are our people. The thing that makes us most human is our ability to story. I mean, we can call it history. Um, we can call it archives. It doesn't matter what the hell we call it, but what really is happening, the only ways in which we maintain our humanity is by storytelling. So I, I think it's at the core of what we do. The best kept secret in English education is the daily genius in our classrooms that we sit on top of because we don't know how to share it. It's not like the doors, it's outside the doors. Right? Um, it's powerful inside the doors. It's revolutionary when it's shared. We know what to do. Right? I think the hard part is doing it alone. And so part of a movement, um, it's much easier to walk in front of that tank when you've got like 14 or 14,000 of your buddies walking out on that road with you. Yep. It's much easier to face fire hoses when there are like 5,000 of you and you are singing gospel hymns as you walk into those poses. It is much easier when you are walking with people. NCTE should be the place to say if you are about literacy and social justice, you don't have to walk alone. And you do not have to walk alone. <laughs> It's about 
I'm making the case for you as advocates. And I know I felt the same way. I knew advocacy needed to happen, but who was I? Well, who are we? We are the most powerful literacy organization in this country. And, and we are the oldest literacy organization in this country. We have the power to act. We have the moral obligation to act. 